everyone! Okay, so today I'm gonna do my summer skin routine. I've already done my skincare routine, which was just like my face, but this time I'm tackling the body, which is actually most of my skin, so that totally matters, right? There are about like four steps. Obviously, I don't do every single one of them every day, but they're just like the four steps that I integrate in my routine, just especially in summer, just because shorts are my uniform during summer. I hate pants. These legs just need to be free. But I have to say, the most important part about the whole thing is moisturizing. I think most people would agree, if your skin isn't moisturized and it's looking kind of dry and flaky or whatever, it's not gonna look so good. I mean, it is what it is. So a lot of my steps are kind of centered around keeping things moisturized. My first step, is exfoliating. I exfoliate all over, especially like my feet and my legs, using these little gloves. They are purple with polka dots. You can get these at drugstores or kind of like anywhere. They're not expensive. Um, and there's a bunch of different brands that do them. They're just kind of like a little bit rough. They're not scratchy. They're not gonna hurt you or anything, but they're really easy to use with whatever kind of scrub or body wash or soap or whatever that you like to use. And you basically just put on your fancy little gloves in the shower and just go from like toe to head. Well, I don't do my face, but I use them everywhere else on my body and I just kind of like do a light scrub and you get like super squeaky clean and any kind of like dead skin or whatever, you're taking care of that. Next up in the routine is shaving. You might already know that I'm a slightly obsessive shaver. I pretty much do it every day like even in the winter i know it's weird whatever i'm addicted um i use the chic quattro and then i also use this skin to mitt skin therapy moisturizing lotionized vitamin e dry skin shave gel this one's really awesome because it moisturizes. It helps protect your legs or your armpits or wherever you're shaving and it helps keep everything moisturized and so not only are you smooth and soft, you're also lusciously moisturized. This one kind of smells like soapy a little bit, um, but there's another one that's like raspberry flavored. Wait, maybe not flavored, I've never tasted it, but uh, that one smells delicious as well. The third step, the third thing I absolutely love to do kind of year round, but especially in the summer is use self tanner. I have subcutaneous lupus. I can't really hang out in the sun all that much. It kind of aggravates the situation. So I am obsessed with self tanner. You already know this. Clearly I'm holding four different versions. I love them all. I have even more in my bathroom. I'm obsessed. Obviously, this is a video all about self tanners, but I do plan on making a new video very soon about my favorite self tanners, how I use them, and what that's all about. And last, it is all about moisturizing. I use a lotion head to toe every day in the morning and at night, every time I get out of the bath or shower. My favorite body moisturizer is the Vaseline's Total Moisture Cocoa Radiant Rich Feeling Lotion. I've been using this one since high school. I totally love it. It's not like an overpowering scent and it's not like gonna stick with you all day, but I don't know, I just like it. It's my fave. This is another thing that I've been using recently as a moisturizer. It's coconut oil and it's extra virgin, organic, pure and unrefined. I got this at the grocery store. You've probably seen like 800 Facebook posts or blog posts or whatever talking about all the amazing magical uses of coconut oil and you know, I've seen them too. And you know, some of them are debatable, but this stuff definitely works as an awesome moisturizer, especially if you want that kind of like slick, moisturized look on your legs. You can go overboard with it, um, but I love it. You know how when you see like a celebrity on a late night talk show or something and you can see their legs and they're like weirdly super shiny and you're like, did you just spray Pam on your legs? Probably not. They might've used something like this because this can make your legs look like plastic Barbie legs. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a fan of that. All right, so that's everything in my routine. If you guys have any suggestions or comments or whatever for me, comment down below. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Google+, pretty much everywhere. It's Leanne Says. I'll have those links listed down below. You can also subscribe to my channel because I put out new videos about twice a week and I love when you watch. If you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.